good morning everybody so i just wanted to come on here and just kind of talk a little bit um i was just i'm just talking to the lord as i drive and um i'm just kind of what is that oh my gosh anyway i'm just talking to the lord about like you know like salvation and <clears throat> you know um so for me god i pray that you you would speak through me calm my spirit and my soul down flow through me jesus all day today just flow through me your thoughts your words, your love, your peace, your spirit, your heart. In the name of Jesus, I pray, okay? So, I was just mainly talking to the Lord just now. You know, like, I don't know. Um, you know, and I... I like i mean i've heard the lord say like you know we will get to like do everything and it's gonna be it's gonna be something big you know it's not just like it's not gonna be like oh you know a little a little bang here and you know you, your business starts booming and then then all hell breaks loose no like you know I, th I feel like we're gonna get to live in it for a little while i don't know how long and i can't put words into the lord's mouth and i i don't know his i don't know god's plan for for mankind you know but i know that god is good and um i know that god is good and and he just wants more people to be gathered unto him right and so one thing i really learned about myself is that so whenever I was using um, in the drug addiction and all that and all of that stuff, like I, I was starved of Jesus spiritually. Like I, I, I didn't have Jesus. I, you know what? It's crazy because this is God can as God as my witness. This is this is the truth. So I always carried a Bible around with me, like ever since i started going through like warfare i started understanding that like i i somehow god gave me this understanding that he was important and whenever i was so i was on drugs and i went through psychosis schizophrenia bipolar type 2 whatever you want to call it anyway i call it intense warfare and like you know i was hearing demonic voices growling you know this angry demon you know like these demons just hated me and they wanted to wreak havoc on my life and that's just exactly what they did you know they hated me they hate the god in me they hate jesus that dwells on the inside of me and that's okay because that makes me feel more better about who i serve and what i gotta go through you know it's nothing to be scared of i you know, I'm not scared of these demons by no means because I know the God that I serve. And with a flick of his finger, they are they are thwarted away from me, you know? Like, God is God is so amazing. And I'm just going to cry right now because I can feel him. But um, the reason why I say this is because sometimes, like, I tend to look around and, you know, being, being like, um, having discernment, you know this guy made this video and it completely made sense to me because it's like you know we we all just like want we all want everything to go back to normal right we just we want everything to go back to normal and like you know we just want to like be normal live normal you know ever since the the virus and all that you know like we just kind of like been looking for like well you know like what's normal and like you know just trying to you know and that's all good and everything but it's just like i don't know you know like i i seriously i feel like it's time to and you don't have to put your whole life on pause i'm not you know, but I just sometimes I don't know why I think extreme like that. I feel like maybe there's a time that will come that 
you know, we will have to like board up our houses and, you know, stock up on food and water. God is saying to do that right now. So I don't know, you know, like he's been saying that, like, you know, be prepared, get prepared. And then everybody has Facebook and or Facebook reels and YouTube reels, Instagram reels, you know. I don't know, but I've been, you know, I've been watching them reels on there and it's always talking about like, you know, China invasion and, you know, the, all this, you know, all this stuff. Like, they're just laughing at us over there and like, you know, um, you know, the dreams that, you know, the dreams of the end times that I've had. And I just think like, you know, I truly believe that God will rapture, you know, his, his people, but I believe God will rapture his people, but like, I think that we have to go through it with, we were going to have, I, I, I don't know. And like, I'm, I'm saying like, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure that when things go left, we are going to have to battle in war because who is, who are the frontline people of this nation? You think it's, you know, it's not the government people because we're not in a, we're not you know we're not gonna be it's not rioting in the government i believe that they're that's all that's all set in stone within god's eyes but what i'm saying is that like in a spiritual battle the ones that know spiritual warfare are gonna have to come to the front line and seriously do some battling you know especially what if there's famine what if there is no food how are you gonna provide for your children how are you gonna provide food for your family you know when the grocery stores don't you're not able to go to the grocery stores you know what i mean and but the, see this isn't fear-mongering like god isn't like that you know he doesn't try to like instill a bunch of fear in you but what he will do is he wants you to be wise and listen to him obey him and to you know um prepare prepare however you gotta prepare however that that is necessary for you you know and your family you know but like i said like i i'm this isn't a fear-based message it's more so like you know like what are we gonna do you know and um but so whenever i was in drug addiction i was starved spiritually like i and and then whenever i started going through like psychosis i grabbed the bible and I, somehow some way god allowed me to know that I needed Jesus, that I needed the Son of God to help me in what I was going through because I understood, like with complete understanding that I was, I mean, I didn't, I mean, everybody, you know, I was, I was busy trying to figure it out. I was so desperate to like figure it out. I, I didn't understand a lot of it at first, right? And I didn't understand and I was like, I was like, I was just like so sad and like I just didn't understand a lot of what I was going through and um but whenever I found Jesus and I like started reading the Bible and like started doing like that like I it was like I I had understanding of like him and this world and like things and you know and like in your discernment like you're just standing there like your discernment's on on high and it's just like you know i mean it, it's not like you something you could t turn off and on but i by the holy spirit you're able to discern like you know times and things and i don't know So yesterday, the Lord showed my daughter um, a trumpet in the spirit, and <clears throat> trumpets, trumpets kind of scare me um, only because, like you know, in the Bible when the trumpets are blown, like you know, um, whistleblower season, you know what I'm saying? Like you know, there's just a lot of stuff going on, and like you have to find the courage to. To do what you got to do. And it's crazy because like. It, 
people will be exposed. Whatever you're hiding, whatever you're doing, it's going to come out, you know? And um, a lot of people don't want that. A lot of people, because they're, you know, like, who, the, because you know how they say, like, watch who your friends are friends with? Because, like, that, like, you don't even understand, like, the, the spiritual, um, critical spiritual thing that that, it, it, like, really is. Because I never understood that. But now, like, and it's more so, like, I just... I don't know because but I guess like you know whenever you open keep opening the door to the devil like he he will like send people to mess with you he will send people to like try to set you up or try to get you to come into agreement somehow and it's really subtle and tricky because you know you could think these people mean well but they really don't family family being being the main people you know your family you know, it's biblical to cut your, your family off, especially if they're possessed by devils and demons that they don't want to get rid of. You know, these people, I, I believe I'm a hundred percent on this. Like, I truly believe that these people, they know that they have demons and they just don't care. Like, I think that they either feel too far gone or, or, okay, so this is another thing. Okay, so god was kind of expressing to me how some people are already dead in the spirit realm like they're they're already dead in the spirit realm so could you imagine what's possessing their body to to act and react and that's another thing that i was saying like you know in the book of acts so these i think it was paul and silas i'm not too sure but god please give me revelation as i'm trying to tell about this so they go they're traveling around and you know like whatever whatever right these are two good men of god so anyway <clears throat> they go into this house trying to cast out this devil out of a man or woman or something and this this devil takes a hold of them like beats them up strips them bare naked and kicks them out of the house and throws them out on their butt out into the street you know and that i mean i mean that shouldn't scare you because now in this time, God equips people, us so much that if you are terrified of these devils, these demons, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you have no right to be terrified when we serve a God that is bigger than all of this, than anything, you know? Like, go to war, like, as if you got, got like, you know, because you do got, go to war because you have God on your side, you know? And you know the Nephilim in my in the mall, malls in Miami, they appeared to those people because that was just a little glimpse of what's gonna happen. People running from these 12, 14 feet demons, devils that appeared out of nowhere, chasing them, running in terror. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not you can't grab a gun and shoot a demon. You know what I'm saying? And you, once you fast and you pray and you rid your body of all the food, you empty out your vessel, then the Holy Spirit is able to come in. And when he speaks, when he wars and wages war against these demons, these devils, it works, you know? So God kind of gave me this revelation. He said, like, you know, your like fasting is like strengthening your slingshot. And the word of God is the stones that you put in your slingshot and you like, you know, you, that's how David killed Goliath, you know, and if you could imagine, and that's why it's so important to read the word of God and to get equipped and, you know, and I'm, I'm speaking all this, but like in my own community, like, it's like, do I go out and like tell this to people? Not really. You know, am I guilty? Am I, am I going to be held accountable for that? Probably. You know what I'm saying? But I just, I don't know. I'm, I can't find myself within this community. It's like, you know, and I'm not trying to be a no fear monger. I'm not trying to be like that. But I just need some people that will come alongside of me, you know. And, and I just pray over this region that, over this community, that people, instead of congregating, like, you know, congregating to, to come against people and to attack people and set them up for failure... You know, maybe people could gather to pray for people and to pray for leaders, to pray for the legislation and laws and lawmakers and, you know, to wage war in that way, you know, in Jesus' name. 
Anyway, I gotta drop my baby off at school, but I just wanted to come on and say that because also oh, I was thirsty and I was starving for for God, for Jesus' spirit, for the spiritual food. Whenever I found him, I couldn't stop watching sermons. I couldn't stop. I was praying, fasting, reading the Bible, and I know like I've kind of come away from, you know, fasting and praying, but you know, whenever you fast and you feel those hunger pains, I whenever I used to fast, I I like those hunger pains, like I like feeling them because because I know something is happening within me. But whenever you feed those hunger pains with food and you like fill your body with that food and stuff, then it's like that spirit, the Holy Spirit like goes away. And it's like, you know what? Like, I don't know. And I'm just really terrified because I don't like doing that to the Lord. I don't like doing that to my father. You know, I don't like being an adultery, adultering on my, the Holy Spirit with food, you know? Anyway, I just hope you guys have a blessed day. I love you guys. And if you could take anything away from this, you know, Jesus is the only thing that could feed your spirit. Feed your spirit. Fill up on the word. Get close to the Lord. Say right now, if you're not saved and if you're an unbeliever, say, Jesus, you know, I, I lived a terrible life. I was an evil person, but I don't want to be that no more. I repent and I want to give my life to you. It will be more easy for a, a sinner and an unbeliever to come to Jesus. God will welcome you in with the open arms and your life. It, I'm not saying that you'll get money and prosperity and riches and glory and all that. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying that you will, your soul will be secured in the, in the fold of the father. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I think pride is a big thing, you know, like, I don't know. But, you know, anyway, have a good day because I could go on and on. But, you know, seek the Lord while he may be found. You know, accept Jesus into your heart. He is good. He will save you. And he loves you. You're a sinner. You're evil, whatever. He still loves you. He will welcome you in with welcoming arms, love and comfort. You know, and anyway, I love you guys. Have a good day. Bye.